Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is our lesson 12 on Catalan Automation Tool Concepts. So till now we have covered lot of topics like how to automate web applications, how can we automate API REST services, how can we automate API SOAP services, how can we perform parallel, parallel browser testing, right? All these kind of concepts we have already covered in our previous video sessions. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how can we read the data from Excel sheets to perform data driven testing by using Catalan Studio. Please do subscribe to the channel. Click on bell icon. You'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on these concepts. Thank you. Okay. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to refer the test data values from Excel sheet. To perform your data driven testing in Catalan Studio, first you need to create an automated test case. And then you need to create a data file external data file either in the form of CSV or Excel sheets and then add your test data to the Excel sheets. And then in Catalan Studio, you need to create variables and then you need to refer those variables in test cases, automated test cases. And then you need to add your data file, whatever you created, the Excel file to the Catalan Studio and you will be creating test suites by using the test case that you have created earlier and then you need to perform data binding with the test data that you have created from the excel sheet and then you need to run the test cases so that it performs the data driven testing that means it uses the different data sets that you have created in the excel sheet so without delay let's jump onto the system and let me show you how can we perform all these actions by using Catalan Studio. Okay, so this is my uh, Catalan Studio. Okay, so our first step is to cre create automated test case, right? First, we need to create automated test case. So to save some time, uh, we can just uh, use the test cases that we automated in earlier sessions. Okay, so I would recommend you guys to uh, go through my previous video sessions to understand these concepts. Okay, so in my previous session, I've created a test case and then I have automated a test case. What is our test case? Automated test case, open a browser and perform login by using full name and um, your password. And then once you click on login, you are logging out right that's what we are doing here okay this is our test case what is our test second step first create a data file and add data to the data file okay so for that let me create a data file here okay new excel i'll name this as login data okay open this excel file And my header is full name or username, right? Password, okay? My full name, let's say Ravikant. Password is 12345. The second one is Williams James, sorry, James William. This is my second name and password is again 12345. Okay. So save this one, save the data and close this. So we have done with our second step, create data file and add data. So now I have created two usernames and two passwords, right? So I want to perform login operation by using those two set of datas. Okay. And then create variables and uh, refer in test case. So now I want to replace 
the constant values whatever I provided for the username and password with variable. Okay, for that first go to the tab called variables. If you see here at the bottom, this is manual script and variables. You can see my mouse, right? So click on variables. Now add variables. My first variable, I want to provide the same variable name that whatever I have provided in the Excel sheet. Okay. So first is I let me name this as username better to understand the better way. Okay. Username name this variable as username string right and then another variable password so let me just spell check password string done I've created these two variables and then save all okay so once I create the variables now I need to replace these constants with the variables right so before that what is our create variables and refer in test case so how to refer in test case click on here and here instead of string I want to make it as variable and select the variable called username click OK and here instead of pa uh, password 12345 first string will be changed to variable value type and then select the variable password click OK so done we have replaced constant values with the variables and then what is our next step add your data file to Catalan studio so whatever the data file that we created here right we need to add this to Catalan studio okay before you start performing the data driven okay to read the values from the excel sheet so if you see here I can see data files folder here right click here directly either you can add data file but better to arrange the data files in folder structure so I'm going to make it as login data I'm creating a folder under login data I want to add a new test data test data login data okay so if you see here you have a browse option here click on browse and go to the location and select the data file that we just created click on open so as soon as you click on open it's going to import entire test data from the excel sheet and you need to make sure that use the first row as header if you see here these are all the different check boxes you have this one you need to check this because my first row is a header correct so you have to check that option and then save this so our step the next step add your data file to Catalan studio is done now add test cases to test suit so now we already have this test case here right this is the test case that we are referring where we already replaced variables uh, replaced constants with the variables now let's create a test suit so I have already explained you how to create test suit and all these things in my earlier session okay go to test suits test suites and then create new test suite new test suite name this as data driven test okay data driven suite suite click ok and now as you know once the test suite is created you can add your test cases okay I want to add this test case whatever we just now created add expand this this is my test case right scriptless mode right click ok so the test case is added so now save the test suite so add test cases to test suite so we already added the test cases to test suite now you need to perform the binding operation okay how to perform binding so if you see here on right side you should be in test suite module module 
and the test suite whatever we created on top corner right corner you can see a show data binding you click on show data binding as soon as you click on show data binding you can see here my variables whatever I declared it's already showing me here and here first you need to add a test data here if you see above you have a test data section below you have a variable binding first you need to add the test data so click on add as soon as you click on add it's going to open your data files you see login data you need to select the data file whatever we created just now sorry whatever the data file that we imported under data files select the data file click ok so once it is added now you need to perform the binding operation so under data value this time you need to select your data column here you will be adding a data column and what is the test data so my test data here is login data if you see this is my test data select that and what is the value that you want to add if you open this one see I already see the test data file whatever I am referring here right it is showing me the columns select the column as username I want to refer username column and here again go to the type of data column select the type of data column and here what is your test data sheet so this is my test data sheet which is login data right click OK and then select the column that you want to sell uh, uh, get the values from the column is password click OK right and now save the test okay that is done now you save the test and now you can run this test suite and see what happens okay so let me run the test suite I want to run this test suite on Chrome browser okay let me close the clone browser run Chrome so as soon as you click on Chrome it's going to start execution okay if you see here it started test case execution okay so now it's going to first open your Chrome browser correct yeah so it is retrieving all the test data and then it's opening your Chrome browser first okay so it's opened your Chrome browser right first time it should log in with the first data Ravikanth that's correct login log out done now it should start your second iteration the second iteration is now this time James Williams right Williams James login log out perfect so that means if you see if you go to your test results if you go to reports and then open your smoke testing sorry let me go to reports before going to the reports let's first see your results okay let me read the results okay so if you see here my first date test data set is this right it is pass see here username and then password the second set of password and this is my second set of running right so hope you all understand first see what are the steps that we performed first we have created the test case and in the test case we provided constant values for the test data sets as a constant values what we did we replaced those constant values with the variables so under variables tab we created variables with the blank values and then we replaced those constant values with the variables after that we have created an excel sheet with the same variable names as columns and then provide the test data and then we have uploaded the test data C sheet under test data files right and then we created a data sheet 
under data suite we call that particular test test suite sorry test case to the test suite as soon as you import the test case to the test suite the corresponding variables will be mapped and then those variables needs to be you need to bind those variables with the test data suite for that you added your test data sorry the test data sheet you added your test data whatever the file you uploaded in the test data section and then we have modified these variable binding values by using the type data column and then we referred the data file here and then the corresponding columns here that's it and then we ran our test suite so it performed the iterations if you go back to main sheet here if you go back to sorry if you go back to your test case see the test case is not modified so that means we are able to perform data driven testing by using binding method okay hope you all understand the concepts of getting the data from excel sheet or excel sheet means it might be xls or csv file and how can we perform data driven testing by using catalon if you have any queries please do provide your queries in the comment box i i will try to respond to your queries please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you will receive notifications whenever i publish more videos on this concepts thank you